Mike. The significant other I'm speaking of today is my dad. He uh, grew up with two brothers during the Depression, of immigrant parents. They weren't poor, but they didn't have any any real. Uh, It wasn't an opulent childhood, shall we say. They lived in a, they grew up in an urban environment. At first they lived uh, out, in, out in the sticks, but my dad had a hay fever allergy, so they moved into downtown. <clears throat> dad came of age during the Eisenhower administration back in the 50s when anybody could uh, get ahead if they just had a little bit of a work ethic and wanted to keep the same job. College education in those days was uh, not very, not much of a priority. You could get one if you really wanted to have a shirt and tie, carry a briefcase, but if you just wanted to make a decent living, you didn't need it. That said, when he got out of the military, he was newly married, already had a couple of rugrats in tow. He decided, here's an opportunity to go to college and become a teacher. I asked him many years later, why, why did you want to be a teacher? And he said, well, it seemed like a good, good way to earn a living, have a steady job, something he could do. He didn't want to work in a mill or a factory. So he got his uh, degree, got his degree, started his well, he already had part of the family going. Started his career, and along the way, well, while we were growing up, he learned how to be a parent, sort of, as he went. He was barely 21 when I was born, so he got a little bit too early to start, in my opinion. Anyway, he always found some way to make things out of nothing, useful things. He showed me that just about every day that, that I was growing up. Some of the toys that we made. Th this toy here was something that he and his brothers shared, and then it fell to us. He made a wonderful layout in the basement using the scrap lumber for a table, newspapers, paper mache, old paint. You could make just about anything you know, a train layout. We didn't care because it looked realistic enough. And we raced the trains and wrecked them. They're a little bit worse for wear. But I had a good time with them. My kids don't like them so much. Anyway, this is just an example of one of the links that I share with my father. The other link was he enjoyed operating junky vehicles. He preferred buying old cars at auctions, running them until they quit. Usually they quit when he wanted them to, sometimes a little earlier. But we weren't stranded very much. I remember some of the summers when, this one summer in particular, he bought a boat and we spent the whole summer scraping the paint off it, putting new fiberglass on it. That pretty much took up the whole summer. But at least we had a nice boat. <laughs> Instead of, there was one summer when he had to go to college to uh, keep up his credential. He didn't want to st spend uh, money in a hotel room, so he built, a, he built a camper shell out of plywood and an old canvas tent. And he'd spend the night on the side of the road en route to Texas and back. I thought, wow, who would want to live in this, who would want to spend the night in this thing? Anything to save a dollar, as I figured out eventually. Home improvement, he was, he'd only owned two houses, even to this day. In the first house, we were always working on it. So we'd spend Christmas vacation tearing out the plaster and lab, 